My name is Colin Davidson. I'm a proud Special Olympics athlete. I started Special Olympics when I was in middle school. The first sport I p participated in was soccer, which uh, the, when I was in middle school, they passed out a paint, paint flyer that uh, showed uh, Special Olympic soccer, which is my favorite sport. And um, that's how I started to get in the program. And after soccer, I started to do a few more sports after that sport. And uh, it's, I mean, it's really helps me a lot in life and how it's really changed my life. And I'm just thankful to have a program like Special Olympics in my life. I go to the gym every uh, two, day, two days a week to be a good athlete and to stay in shape for all the sports that I play in and participate in. It's uh, made me get a lot of confidence in my life, being more positive, making a lot of new friends around the, around the state of Massachusetts and uh, all across the country. And it's uh, changed my life by just getting more confidence, like I said more self-esteem, just going down the right road. About 15 or 16 years ago, Special Olympics entered our lives, and since that time, it has changed both of our lives. Colin, as a young man, and as an athlete, now has more friends than he can ever imagine. He's, he has friends that no longer judge him for what he can or cannot do. He has a significant girlfriend that he met seven or eight years ago now in Special Olympics. He has a job where people treat him with dignity and respect, at the same time understanding that he has intellectual disabilities. Special Olympics has also taught Colin to be a healthier athlete. It's given him the tools to train and compete year-round, and just by being an active young man, of course he's healthier than if he were not participating in sports. But it's also given him the awareness through the Healthy Athletes Program that he needs to eat well, he needs to exercise, he needs to take care of his body. And I do see that these aspects that Special Olympics is teaching him are starting to sink in and he is starting to take advantage of them. He goes to the gym, he is aware of what he's eating, um, he is aware of rest and his eyesight and all of the things that the Healthy Athletes Initiative is teaching him through Special Olympics. I feel blessed to have a child with intellectual disabilities because he continues to teach me along the way what are the important things in life. He continues to teach me which are the baby steps and which are the giant steps. And through Special Olympics, who has given us the tools to be successful, to be a successful family, we will succeed and continue to succeed. And I'd just like to thank Special Olympics for everything they've done for us. Two goals. One is I'm actually going to national games in July. And the other goal is that I'm doing uh, raising the money for at the Passion Plunge to pay for uh, for some of my athletes to go to nationals in July, which um, is a huge, huge opportunity not just for me, but for every athlete in my in my group. So it's going to be a very, very exciting moment. <laughs>